Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm starting a new series called the Sunday Breakdown. Every Sunday, we'll dive into latest videos from your favorite creators and break down their editing technique. So comment below and let me know which creator you want me to cover next Sunday. Without further delay, let's get started. The first one is a scrolling list which you see on the left. To make this, let's create a new composition. We'll name it as scrolling list. Keep the width as 920 but increase the height to 3000 and press OK. First, let's create one name card and then we'll replicate it. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. Let's keep it in the center by pressing Ctrl and Home. Change the color to white. Go to the drop down, the rectangle path, increase the roundness. Let's keep it around 50. Let's call the layer as name board. Now press Ctrl T or select the text tool and coming over here, click once. Let's write the name Rishi Agarwal. Press Ctrl A. Change the color of the text to black. I'm going to keep the font size as 50. Now unselect the layer and click on a text tool and click over here. We're going to add the rank. So rank 8 and let's add the year. Let's say 2018. Now select all. Change the font style to black and let's give it a gray color. Now just selecting the text, let's increase the size and keep it something like this. By using the move tool, place it over here. Okay, we are done with the name. Now let's pre-compose it. Select all the three layers, right click over here, click on pre-compose and let's call it as name one. To create the animation, we are going to need around 25 names. Now instead of duplicating over here in the timeline, we will need to duplicate it over here in the media pool. So press Ctrl Z. Coming over here, let's add a new folder. We will call it as effect1, one. effect1coms. One let's select both of them and place it inside it. Now click on the drop down, click on name1 and press Ctrl D. So we have got around 25 names. Now click on name2 and pressing shift, click on name25 and drag it to a timeline. Perfect. Now let's select all of them, press S and let's reduce the size. We can keep it around 40. So select name 1, pressing V. Let's put it on the top. Go to the bottom, select name 25 and let's keep it at the bottom. Now scroll up to the top, press on shift and click on name 1. That way everything will get selected. Now just go to align and click on distribute vertically. Right now if we zoom in, we can see there is hardly any gap between them. So let's do one thing, press Ctrl Z. Let's reduce the size to 35. Now again selecting all of them, let's distribute them vertically and then align it to the middle. If we zoom in, we can see we have got all the names. So as you can see in this video, he has given different names to all the different individuals. So in order to change the name, all you need to do is double click on the name. Over here, just change the name and change the year. I don't want to waste your time because you get the idea. Now when the school is happening, at that time, the names are getting completely blurred. We can add this effect using Gaussian Blur. So let's click on name 1 and select the effect Gaussian Blur. Let's increase the blurriness to 5. Now copy this, Ctrl C, go to name 2 and paste it. Let's do the same for the top 4 names. Now from name 5, we want to increase the intensity. So just paste it and increase the intensity up to 10. For name 6, let's keep it 15. And from name 7 till name 20, let's keep it all the way to 25. So just paste it. Keep it 25. Now I'm just copying it. Select everything till name 20 and paste it. Now from name 21, let's decrease this. Again, let's make it around 15. Name 22 can be 5. And the last three, we don't even need to add anything. Perfect. We are almost done. Now let's create a new com. Go back to the project. Add a new com. Let's call it as effect 1. This time, click on the preset and select 920 by 1080 and press OK. Now go to our effect 1 comms, scroll down and drag the scrolling list to our effect 1. Let's place it on the left. Now click on this layer and press P. We have to make changes in the Y axis. So drag it up. Initially, we won't see the list. So we can take it outside the composition. Add a keyframe. Now go to 2 seconds and drag it up. We'll also increase the scale. So holding shift, press on S. And let's make it big. 
So select both the keyframes and press F9 to add the easy ease effect. Now open the graph editor. In case you don't see this, click over here and click on edit speed graph. Now select this point and drag it towards the middle. Select the first point and again drag it towards the middle. Create a steep mountain like this. Close it. Let's come to the start. To give it some more blurriness, we can add motion blur. Perfect. Now let's see the final result. If you think this is too fast, you can adjust the speed by keeping the keyframe at 3 seconds. In case you feel that there is too much blurriness, you can just disable the motion blur. Perfect. Right now we don't have any background. But you can add this animation on top of any video. By the way, if you are a beginner and want to learn After Effects from scratch, I have just uploaded a complete premium course. You can check it out over here. Now let's move on to the second effect. To reveal the names of the universities, Mohawk has added this simple animation where we can see that we have a simple background and a polygon which increases in size to reveal the logo of the university inside it. Let's do it step by step. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Effect 2. It will be 920 by 1080 and just press OK. We will keep it inside effect 2. First, let's add a background. Right click over here, go to new and click on a solid layer. I am just going to call it as BG. Keep the color anything that you want and press OK. Now we need a polygon. So long click over here and click the polygon tool. Pressing shift, create a polygon like this. Go to fill and change the color to white. Keep the stroke as 10 pixels. Now press Ctrl home to bring it to the center. We want a polygon with 7 sides. So click on the drop down. Again click over here. And in the points, instead of 5, let's make it 7. So we'll get a shape similar to more. Let's name this as polygon. Let's close it. Now we have to animate this for scale as well as for rotation. So click on the layer, press R and holding shift, also press S. Take the blade to 1.5 seconds. And add a keyframe in both the parameters. Now go back over here at the start. And let's make the rotation around 120. And let's make the scale 0. We'll get an animation like this. Now select all the points and press F9. Now drag our Harvard logo on the top. Press S. Let's scale it down a bit. And place it in the middle. Like this. Now we have to add a track mat on top of our shape. In case you don't see these options, you can just hide or unhide them over here on the bottom left. So take the pickwick and create a track mat on top of our shape. This way you can see the logo is now increasing in size and rotation just as our polygon when the background has vanished as we turn the logo into the mat. To enable the background, simply unhide the layer. Perfect. Right now when we are increasing it in size, you can see at some places, the logo is coming outside the borders. To avoid that, click on our polygon layer and press Ctrl D. Then drag this layer to the top. Click on fill and make it none and just press ok. See we have got the exact animation like Mohawk. Perfect. Now let's move on. Next we have this timeline which appears above his head. This one is super easy. Take a new composition. Keep the width as 3000. The height can remain the same. We'll call it as timeline. And press ok. For a timeline we have to create a straight line. So select our pen tool, add a point over here and holding shift add another point on the right side. Change the color of the stroke and keep it as white. We can decrease the stroke and keep it as 8. Now let's create some notches. I'll select the layer. I can select the pen tool. Scroll in. And create the first notch by clicking over here. Hold shift and click one point below. We want to create around 8 notches. Let's name this as notch 1. Make 8 copies of it by pressing Ctrl D. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Select the 8th one. And let's place it at the end, over here. Now select all of them, go to a line and click on distribute horizontally. In fact, let's do one thing, let's add two more notches. Press Ctrl D again. Let's keep the last one over here. Again, click on notch one. In align, click on distribute horizontally. Perfect. Now let's add the ears. Click our text tool, come over here and click once. Let's add the year 1999. Let's zoom in. Let's press it under the notch. Now take a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. Let's press it over here. Let's change the year and keep it 2009. 
Select both of them. Go to align and align them to the top. Perfect. Now let's create a new comp. Let's name it as effect 3. Keep it 920 by 1080 and press OK. Let's add this to our timeline. Press P. And let's position it in the center. Let's press S and increase the scale. Perfect. It can be like this. Now let's animate it. Add a keyframe in position. Take it to 2 seconds. And shift it to the left. Perfect. Select both the keyframes and press F9. So if you see this, we have got an animation like this. But if you see in Moog's video, he has faded out both these points. To do that, select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on top of this. Add a fill and remove the stroke. To create that faded look, we'll need to add a Gaussian blur on top of this. To search for Gaussian blur, increase the blurriness all the way to 100 and just unselect the last option. You'll get something like this. And finally, let's add a track mat. So as we just saw in the last animation, when you use a track mat, you're essentially telling After Effects to showcase only whatever is visible below the mat. So in this example, if we select this and click on our timeline, we're telling After Effects to showcase only whatever is visible under the mat. I hope this is clear. So you can increase or decrease the blurriness depending on how much you want to see the line which is outside. But for now, this is giving me the desired effect. If you feel this is too slow, you can just adjust it and keep it at 1 second. Perfect. I hope this is clear. If you have any doubts, you can reach out to me on Discord. For the next breakdown, we are going to see how to create these following cards. Works Editor has created these cards on Photoshop and then animated them. I am going to skip the Photoshop part, but let me show you how you can create this animation. Let's create a new comp. We'll name it as Effect 4. Keep it 920 by 1080 and just press OK. Let's add a new background. Create a solid layer. Give it any light color that you want. And press OK. We'll create three cards. Let's create one and then we can duplicate it. Select our rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. Now open this. Open the rectangle path and increase the roundness. We can keep it around 50. To add some depth, let's add a drop shadow. Let's call this as card 1. Press U to close all the layers. Let's take two duplicates of this. Press Ctrl D once and twice. Keep this on the top, then layer 2 and layer 3. Perfect. We have to rotate all these layers in 3D space. So let's enable 3D for these three cards. If you click on card 1 and press R right now and make changes to the exhortation, it is merging with card 2. In order to avoid that, we need to make some changes in 3D space. So let's do one thing. Click over here and click on 2 views. For the card 1, over here in the z-axis, let's bring it ahead, like this. Then click on card 2 and let's do the same for it. This way we have a gap between all the three cards and we can flip them properly. Let's close this to one view. Let's increase the scale such that all the three cards fit exactly on top of each other. Perfect. Now all we need to do is add keyframes. Select our first card, holding shift, press on P. We already have the scale property open and also press R. Add a keyframe position, scale, and X rotation. Let's zoom in. Now go to 12 frames. Let's rotate it like this. Let's change the position. Keep it over here. And let's increase the scale. Now take the plate to 12 frames and press Ctrl and the right square bracket. This way we'll cut the layer. Now select all the keyframes and press F9. You can rotate it more if you want. Perfect. So for your understanding, I'm going to repeat the same process for card 2. The animation for card 2 can start at 1 second. Let's do the same. Click on the layer. We already have the scale property. Press R and press P. Add a keyframe position, scale and X rotation. Go to 1.5 seconds. Again, add the keyframes. Let's rotate it like this. Bring it down and increase the scale. Set all the keyframes and press F9. Coming over here, let's cut the layer. So press Alt and the right square bracket. So the first layer, we have a second layer. Perfect. Using the same techniques, you can create the same animation for the remaining cards. I hope this is clear. Now let's move on to the last effect. Woke uses a lot of graphs in his videos. One of the most common one is this pie chart. Let's create this in just three steps. We'll create a new comb, call it Effect 5. First select the ellipse tool, pressing Shift. Create a circle like this. Let's bring it to the center. 
keep the fill as white and keep the stroke as zero. For the second step, to create the same effect as move, we have to add a radial wipe on this. Let's rename this to circle. Let's search for radial wipe. Right now, if we increase this, we can see our circle is vanishing from 100 to 0. But we want the opposite of that. We wanted to start from 0, like there should not be any circle or any pie chart, and then it should increase all the way and become 100. For doing that, let's change it from clockwise to counterclockwise. Take the player to the start, add a keyframe in transition completion, and make this 100%. Now go to one second and bring this back to 0. This will give us an effect like this. This is looking great, but let's give it a subtle rotation movement. Again, come to the start, add a keyframe in start angle. Let's keep it at 20%. Then go to one second and let's make this zero. Perfect. Click on this layer and press U. Select all the keyframes and press F9. Awesome. We are getting the exact animation like mock. And for the last step, to add the next small percentage increase that we see over here, let's create a new circle. Let's take a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D, press U, delete all the keyframes. Let's change the color. Let's give it any color that you want. Press S and increase this to 110. Take the player to the start and let's make this 100. We want this animation to start at one second. So let's skip it over here. Take the player to one second, add a keyframe in transition completion. Now take it out by few frames and let's make it 19% or 98%. So we'll get an effect like this. Perfect. I hope this was useful. Thank you guys for watching the video. In the upcoming videos, we are going to cover different editing styles from other creators. So let me know in the comments which creator you want me to cover next time. I will see you soon.